guys, it's your girl, and I'm back with a mega haul. I went to visit my best friend this past weekend, so I'm excited to show you guys. I bought a lot of different things, a lot of makeup, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Because you love haul videos, I love buying things, so it's a win-win. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the non makeup items which i didn't buy a lot of non-makeup items so we're gonna get right into it so i got these cute shorts from they look super huge on camera but i'm not this big they're kind of the boyfriend shorts so i got them in a bigger size but they're super adorable and i don't wear a lot of shorts so i like the longer ones that won't make me shape or my legs rubbing together Everyone hates that. Next thing. And by the way, all these clothes I got from Rue 21 in the clearance section because I'm cheap when it comes to clothes. So then I got this cute little dress. Very cute. Look at like a, it's like a mock turtleneck type of deal. Long. Pretty cute. I don't really go anywhere, so I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I'm excited about it. Next thing. Well, I think this is the last clothing item. I only got three things from Route 21, but the plus size sale section never lets me down. So, I got this cute little top. It is very cute, lacy. I'm excited to, I think I like to buy clothes to make myself go places because I'm very boring. If it's not about makeup, I don't care. So, this is very cute. I'm super excited. It has this like stuff at the bottom. I'm excited to actually find somewhere to wear this to. But let's get on to what you want to see, what I'm excited to show you. Makeup. We bought some makeup. Okay, so first thing is from ColourPop. I feel like they are really bogus and cheap with this packaging. They could have jazzed it up. So the first thing I got, because they had a lot of stuff on clearance, so you guys know that's whenever I'm buying makeup, I like to go to the clearance section first because you find a lot of cool stuff. So, the first thing I got was this ColourPop gel liner in the color Punch, which is yellow. And I've been wanting this yellow eyeliner, and I was like, I need this in my life. And it's going out of sale. I guess they're, like, discontinuing it. So I was like, let me hurry up and get this yellow color because I love yellow eye look. So I got this on sale. Then I also got a highlighter because you can never have too many highlighters. And this is called, I think, Tea Cake or something like that. Tea's Cake. It's called Tea's Cake. And it's more of a mauve pink kind of highlighter. One of those ones you don't really see very often, but I love how smooth, if you can see that. I love how how smooth their eyeshadows are and creamy. I'm going to put some on. It's not that pigmented, but it's still kind of enough sheen to where you know that you have something going on. But I like to kind of layer my highlight anyway. So this is exciting. Who doesn't love Clarence highlighters? Because I know I do. And the last thing I got from ColourPop is this uh, Ultra Matte Lippy. And on, on um, the website, it looked darker than it did when I got it in the mail. So this is the color Platform. It's a really, really light nude color. But you have to be careful when you open this because I spilt it all over my bed. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So it's very more for ombres. You, for women of color, you'd have to have a lip liner on with this. But it's very, very light. But I do love their uh, matte liquid lippies. So they're only, what, $6. So you can't really beat that versus like $20 for Jeffree Star and Kat Von D and all of the other brands that make them. So that's all I got from ColourPop. But I'm excited about trying some of their products. I don't have a lot of ColourPop products so good to buy stuff from ColourPop 
Okay, so I'm trying to save the best for last. Okay, so there's this place in Birmingham called Bargain Hunt. And if you're in the Alabama area, please go there because they have a lot of uh, items that are on like wholesale that are like discounted to like 90%. So whenever I go in there, I try to find um, cool little quaint makeup items that I probably wouldn't normally buy. So I found this, which is the Maybelline Up in Smoke Eye Palette. So it comes with four shadows, a highlighter. It also comes with a blush, an eyeliner, and a lip gloss. So this is the packaging, very chic. And when you open it up, it has this mirror, but I'm not gonna blind you guys. But it comes like this. I don't know why companies still put these little like blush brushes and eyeshadow brushes because I'm not going to use them but it comes like this it has a little quad of eyeshadows here for basic smoky eye like you can't get a lot of looks out of here but I think it's pretty awesome it comes with this basic black eyeliner and then it comes with this pink lip gloss which I didn't get it for any of that I got it for the shadows so then what you do is you pull this to the side and it like shows you that highlighter and it's a very subtle highlight very subtle highlight but it's still really pretty more pigmented than the ColourPop one I would say you see it is very more pigmented than the ColourPop one but still kind of basic when in terms of highlighters and then it comes with this really soft pink blush which I'm probably going to end up using as an eyeshadow but it was only four dollars and it normally retails for I think $15.99 or $14.99 so I was like four dollars yes I have to add this to my collection and I've done a look on my best friend I did her makeup and it's actually a really good palette I've looked it up on influencer and it was a really good raving reviews about it so if you guys can get your hands on this because i think it's this i don't know if it's discontinued or like it's low in stock because i don't think it's sold very well but i think it's pretty cool for a makeup lover like me okay and then also i got these are so adorable since halloween is right around the corner i've got these little kitty face sequin tattoos and I'm gonna try during my Halloween month I'm going to try to kind of incorporate these into my Halloween looks which ugh, guys I'm so ready for September to be over just so it can be October so I can play and make up and do special effects stuff that I love to do so I'm excited about these there were a dollar at Christmas tree shop so I got my hands on these and then also I got the new Ariana Grande perfume, but I got it in the rollerball because I never really use full size perfume. So I like the rollerball because it's still the same fragrance, but like in a smaller package. So I got this, it's, it smells so good. I love her first one as well. So got me a little perfume. And even though I just said I don't like full size perfumes because I never go through them, I have gone through my Nicki Minaj, um, Minajesty perfume and I saw it on sale for like five dollars at Walgreens and it smells really good I have both of her perfumes this one and then I don't remember what the other one's called but I have that one as well but her perfumes smell really good they didn't get as much hype as I thought they should have but they smell gorgeous so yes I got a refill of that and then also I kind of went ham in the dollar store and got all of these wet and wild brushes and you guys know that I love wet and wild brushes so I had to kind of re-up I got the small concealer brush I got like my fourth powder brush because I go through these more than anything I got a couple of large concealer brushes I got an angled liner brush which I'm probably going to just use for my brows then I got a stipple brush which is the only brush that I hadn't tried before so I'm excited about my wet and wild brushes. Then we're getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Since I love, since I love the dollar store, I always try to find different things. And like you can find, like if you go to your local Dollar Tree, like some of them are like crap, but the ones near me have a lot of great 
products that normally are more expensive in the store. So I always try to find things on sale because I'm cheap. So I got these four colors of the Wet n Wild Velvet uh, lip colors. They're kind of like lip lippy crayons. And I got the pretty much the entire collection that they had at the Dollar Tree. So I got five shades. And uh, I'm really focusing more on these because these are more fall kind of colors. These are more of the springtime, but you know me, I'll wear whatever, whenever. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for y'all so y'all can see. So the first color is Fashion Darling. Fashion Darling. And it's this really nice maroon burgundy color. If you guys can see that, it's really gorgeous. And they're really like soft like they're matte but they're still soft to the touch okay so this one is pinky candy and this is more of like a bubblegum pink kind of shade the pink one is a little patchy but for a dollar you're kind of like whatever and these originally retail for two dollars or three dollars or something like that so then we have plum plum ginyu I don't know what the heck that says. Okay, so this is a plum color. And this one is maybe my favorite one. It's super gorgeous. I can't wait till where I can start wearing sweaters and plum colors on my lips. Then we have Creamsicle Kitty, which is this orange shade. It's very, very pale. So you would most definitely need a lip liner. Like guys, you can see that from space. It's so pale. And then the last one is the standout, which is this lavender color, which is, is really gorgeous. It reminds me of like a pencil version of Aisha from Kat Von D. It's really pretty. So I'm really excited to give these a try. They're they're they were only a dollar, so I can't really be mad at them. Wet n Wild is like a hidden gem for me because I feel like a lot of people throw them to the side, but they have a lot of great products. Like this highlight that I'm rocking right now is from Wet n Wild. Like, girl, it was $3 and it's bomb. So this is the part of the video that I'm so excited, so excited to share with you guys. So first off, I got my hands on the Sephora Illuminating Drops. And like when I saw them in the store, I wasn't kind of like excited about it because I was just like, eh, they're probably going to be garbage. But when I tell you guys that this is amazing, I almost bought a Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector, but then I saw this. This is like more than half the price of the Becca highlighters, and they're way cheaper than the Cover FX um, illuminating drops. So I got mine in the shade Morning Light, which is the lightest one they had. I almost got, I think it's like Golden Lights or something like that, but they didn't have a tester. So I tested this one out and I know I love it. So it's pretty much just like the cover effects one with the dropper, which the dropper is kind of like garbage. But I'm going to go ahead and drop a few dots on my hand and show you guys the magic like it's so amazing like i love it as a base i didn't really get a good representation there we go like, it's very much like a sheen but it's great it reminds me of the becca kind of has something that's like this like the it's like the liquid form of the highlighters and i use it as a base so i'm excited for this to kind of give you that glowing from within kind of look and they're only $14 a piece so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the other two that they sell because the Becca one is like 30 bucks $14 half the price really the Becca one's like $38 so $14 is a great find. so cue the gospel music right now because I saw this palette and I almost fainted. I was super excited. I didn't expect to see it in stores because the last I heard of it, it was sold out everywhere. So my best friend and I went half these because she knows I'm addicted to makeup. So she went half on it and guys, guys, just, just, let's just take a moment. 
This is the Power of Makeup palette from Nikki Tutorials, like one of my favorite, all-time favorite YouTubers. She's just like a makeup goddess. It's just incredible. She teamed up with Too Faced to come out with this amazing collection. So let's just get right into the unboxing. So first off, it comes in this gorgeous packaging, very sleek. It has like her quote or whatever online and you open it up, cue the gospel music again, and it's just gorgeous. You have nine shades of eyeshadow, nine different shades. We have one, two, three, four matte and five shimmer. You have a white shade, a black shade, a brown shade. It's just like the perfect palette. And I, I was really hesitant on getting it because you know how I feel about palettes. I feel like you never get to use all the shades. But looking at this palette, like I literally will see myself using every single shade. And then it also comes with two blushes, which are probably going to be eyeshadows for me because... Nikki Tutorials is very, 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 very fair. So when she was thinking about this, of course, you're going to make something that's easier for you to use. So she has uh, these really light kind of blush colors. They might be able to work for me, but who knows. And then she also has a, a contour, which, of course, guys, this is my lighter than my skin tone. What I'm going to I'm going to pretty much use this as like a transition shade or something like that. And then she has a highlighter. So I'm not going to swatch all the colors, but I'm going to try to swatch a few. So I'm going to swatch Irresistible, which is this beautiful gold shade. Their pigmentation is so buttery. It's incredible. I'm going to swatch the black shade, which is Wanted. That black is dark. And it's very hard to formulate a really nice black shadow. And then we're going to do Frosted Yum, which is this silver color which guys look at the pigmentation we're gonna put it on our hands and see oh my god look at that incredible so the palette isn't you think that this is good there's more so not only do you get this amazing palette with all of these must-have items if you look deeper into your box there's this ziploc kind of bag with that cheetah print on there and when you open it up there's more goodies um, so first when you open it up you see there's a book here and it has Nick tutorials face hey girl if you ever see this video I might like pass out there's all her different looks that you can make with the the palette which I thought was incredible and creative and then she actually has a glitter that comes with the palette. I'm not going to open it because you guys know how I am with glitter. It's going to be everywhere. But it's this beautiful like silver glitter with like pinks and green reflex in it. And it's called Glitterly. Like, come on. Her names for this stuff is incredible. But I love the glitter. Then it comes with a full size sketch marker eyeliner pencil in black and you guys know i love black eyeliner and look how black that is guys it's incredible you can it's very smooth it does bleed a little but what else full size like i can't even believe that they put a full size eyeliner in the palette and then the last thing the palette comes with is a better than sex um, mascara but here's the catch it's purple so I can't wait but I can't wait to use this I don't know when I'm gonna ever need purple mascara but I'm excited because Halloween's coming up so you never know when purple will get put in the mix so the palette itself retails this this whole little package retails for $56 which is incredible like at first I was like $56 that's kind of high but then when I looked at the packaging, touched it, like this this sleek magnetic, like it's just incredible. I just cannot wait to play with it. So you guys know that there's going to be a look coming soon. Coming soon using this palette. Like I, I just hate to even touch it because it's like pure gold. And then of course they smell like chocolate. <sighs> 
yes nikki tutorials yes and i love supporting youtubers like granted i'm new to the game and i'm just starting out but i feel like this it makes it feel obtainable like you can do it you can go follow your dreams like who would have thought that a i think she's 23 a 23 year old girl from holland could be working with these these big companies having millions of subscribers so that makes me feel like it's possible for me and if it's possible for me it's possible for you guys so i just love seeing youtubers that are doing big things so shout out to nick tutorials if she ever sees this video and thank you guys for watching my video supporting me i love you guys and more stuff from bedrock beauty coming soon because this palette just gave me so much inspiration on more things i want to do for you guys so if you love haul videos just as much as i like buying things just as much as i like watching haul videos give this video a thumbs up click that button down below and subscribe and become a part of my little family i love you guys and i'll see y'all in the next one